Hi, I'm Afesel and um, here's how you can go about creating wireframe renders or within Blender and even animate them. This method requires doing a viewport render in wireframe view, your actual render, and then combining the results in the compositor. Let's begin. So first of all, what you want to do is to be in wireframe view. Now if your scene is looking um, transparent, you can hit um, Alt Z to disable um, see-through. Next up, I'm going to switch my background color from team to viewport and I can choose a color from here. And um, now we have um, just a black and white um, canvas. So I'm going to switch to camera view. Now while in camera view, I'll disable all overlays. So I just have the wireframes alone. So I can get that with Shift Alt Z. Now we're almost there, but um, it's still showing me my selection. So I can hit Alt A to disable all selection. Now what I need to do is to go to view, viewport render image. And this takes some um, a render of my viewport from the camera view. It's looking a bit darker, but we can fix that once we get to a compositor. So I can save up this image. Um, I've done some tests, so I just replaced um, one of the saving one of the images I saved previously, and um, save as image. Now, back in Blender, I can just go back to render my actual image. So that should be up to the render image. And um, as you can see, it's a very simple um, scene. So what we're going to do now is bring in out, it's coming to the compositor, which is um, the compositing tab and bringing in the wireframe we had done previously. In case um, this, there's nothing here, you can bring this up by enabling use nodes. And if I click on this um, image, this is just my um, render. Now what I want to do is to bring in the wireframe that I had done previously. So I can get that by hitting shift A, um, should be input image. Then I go to open and this is the wireframe I rendered previously. I select it and I can preview it by control shift and clicking on the image to preview it while using the, um, the node wrangler add-on. Now, um, if you look at this um, image, comparing what we have here to what we have in the viewport, we can see the viewport, the whites are looking brighter compared to what we have um, this seems to be something related to um, the color space Blender uses to save images by default. But you can get back what you have by switching your color space from um, sRGB to Filmic Log. Now it's looking um, pretty close to what we had previously in the viewport. Now what I want to do is to mix this image on top of my actual render. To do that, I'm going to use um, the Mix node. So I bring on Shift A, Color mix um mix over here now if i preview this nothing is happening but i just need to drag in my image up to the second input here if you can see my mix factor is set to one so it picks the second um image but if it's at zero it picks the first image but what i want is to just pick up the blacks which is the wireframe itself now to do that to sample just the blacks from, a, from an image like this I switch my mix from mix to um, that should be multiply. Now here we have the um, wireframe, and I can adjust the um, opacity by adjusting this slider here. Now let's say you want a different color entirely from um, a black wireframe. What I can do is to use this same image, but use it as a mix factor. But to do that, I need to make the from the black parts of this image the white so whatever is the white will pick the bottom color and whatever is black will pick the original um will pick the first input which is this um image so now what i need to do is to invert this but due to using that um srgb and female low color space if i were to use a normal color invert it looks oh it seems to be working fine here um okay um previously it wasn't working for me but um i think it's working now so I can just use that. I can bring this into my factor, switch from multiply to mix. Now, if I preview this, um, okay, aha. So this is the issue I was having before. If I use um just the invert node to um convert this to, it's looking black and white, but previewing this, the colors are a bit weird. It seems to be something happening in the background that I'm not sure. But I found that if I switch this from the invert node to converter, color ramp and then flipping the color ramp i get the expected results so that seems to work better for inverting this particular um viewport render so now whatever color i pick here 
will become my wireframe but if you notice um i've lost the option to modify the um, opacity so i just have an opacity of zero and one um zero being black and one being white so what i need to do now is to look for a way i can introduce some blacks to my whites so that will act as an opacity to explain how i want to do that i'm going to bring in um a value a value node now if um i set this value to zero and i preview it all i have is just um a black image but if i set it to one i have um, a white image so now what i need to do is i need to look for a way to introduce um a value less than one which is um black into my whites here yeah? so i can use that to act as um a transparency or um, a factor for the mix um the way i found that was to use um, a math node so if i do um shift a it should be on converter math and i bring it here now if i switch this from add to multiply like i said previously multiply samples blacks while i'm um, add sam usually samples the um, white or the lighter part of the image so you can already see it's happening here but now if i set this to just one and i mute this node you can see we're having what we had previously but if i set it to a value less than one like let's say 0.1 you can see the results here it's looking the white has gotten darker so it's sampling um a value of 0.1 which is almost black but not exactly um, a grayish color it's sampling it and overlaying it over my white so if i use this as a factor for my mix node now and preview this here you can see so now i can now i now have um the um opacity back for the wireframe so um the similar setup whatever color still works i can choose a um, very harsh color and then adjust the opacity from by using this um value sliders and that's pretty much how you render out a steel wireframe in blender now let's say you have um an animation um if i go back to my layout um while in camera view i have just a simple turntable so let's say you want to do a wireframe turntable like this that is overlaid over your actual render so it's um, a similar process but there are some caveats with it by default um blender automatically saves your animated frame to um, a temporary folder so you want to create a folder you want to create two separate folders one for your wireframe then before doing your actual render you create another folder for your renders else it to overwrite what you've done so for example i come here i'm um, like i've said i've done tests before so this is the folder i have for the wireframes and this is what i have for my normal animation folder i can just select this one and accept now while in the um, camera view i'll come to view viewports render this time around instead of viewport render image i choose um viewports render animation now if um i were to go come here and say i want to do a render a render animation blender by default will overwrite the wireframes i've done previously so to be on the safe side it's best before you render out your animation it's best to come here then choose a different folder in my case i used um this one and here will be where i save my actual animation now um just to make sure that everything is working fine to do some tests probably do a test render to set up the wireframes i'll just come to let's say frame uh, i can do frame 47 then i just do um, a test render hit um f12 to do a test render um, now while it is done you can see it's pre it's um, sampling the previous wireframes and not um, the animation so what i want to do is to come back into the compositor now instead of using um, a single image what we're going to use is um shift a this time around impute and choose an image sequence now i just need to navigate to the where i save my wireframes press a to select everything and then import image sequence oh crap um, where is it uh if i can find it okay here it is um like before i want to switch the color space from srgb to filmic log so if i preview it you can see this is what we have here so this one since um by default since it's an image sequence it samples the um frame if i go to frame 40 it brings frame 40 but since i had rendered that frame 47 just to set it up i'll go back to um frame 47 uh okay now we're in frame 47 so i just need to replace my previous um still image with this one and um uh am i not preview okay i'm not previewing okay aha and now we're back to um 
the uh crack we're back to what we had before so now we have um the wire frame uh, if it's looking a bit out of focus i could just adjust to see uh, just some of the values uh, oh okay uh, my opacity so i can bring it up to get back some of the lost um wires in here and um now if i were to go and do um render render animation you can see whatever frame it goes um you can see the compositor it, it automatically samples the wireframe and puts it over my actual image this is going to take some time so i'm just going to let it render and I'm, i'll show you the final results once it's done and here we are so um the render is done now i can go to render view animation and here we have um a turntable with the um wireframes for my object and um that's pretty much how i set up rendering um wireframes all within render now there's one more thing i want to share with you let's say for instance you want to do um a transition so um it goes from you can see the um, you can see the wireframe fading either from the left to the right or the top to the bottom what you want to do is um in the compositor i want you want to blend your um it should be this one your wireframe with a gradient image now in the compositor to bring in a texture what you need to do is to come in to the texture option here and create a new texture so i'm going to call this my gradient by default there is no um gradient texture here at least it's not called gradient it's called a blend from um this in the normal in the shader editor it's called a gradient but over here it's called a blend texture which is over which is what we have here so now to bring in this texture i just need to come back to the um compositor hit shift a it should still be input texture and um clicking on this i can bring in my gradient which is what i have in here i can also preview if i adjust my x location this will create like a, a transition which i can then keyframe but now how do i mix this with my image here so like we said before okay whatever is white becomes um the red wireframe Ooh, uh okay what frame am i okay uh okay this is frame two okay so now i need to find a way i can to mix this over this so i have um, a transition effect so what i need to do is looking at this image i need the blacks to overwrite what we have to overwrite the whites that we have here like before all i just need to do is to duplicate this multiply um node bring it here then bring in the value either the value or the color anyone should work into my second value and now you can see it's overriding it so if i were to keyframe these um values the x location i get um a transitioning effect if it's if the gradient is looking a bit too much you can come adjust it here by enabling color ramp and bringing tightening the white or the blacks to get um a more sharper transition and if you're looking for let's say a top to bottom transition i change it from horizontal to vertical so i have on my bottom top transition uh oh no so i have to be it has to be the y value now i think yeah so adjusting the y value creates um a top to bottom transition now this i feed into my factor uh we choose um a different wireframe color like say um sky blue uh, so send this back to one mm, let's see green. Green. I'll reply. Oh, okay so um this is why it was looking like that so i can now adjust the y value um for a transition for the transitioning effect and now i just need to set um a keyframe for this so i can say from frame 30 it should be uh let's say from frame 30 there shouldn't be any of the um transition so I just hit I to so insert a keyframe. Then once I get to frame 80, there should be um the transition should be complete by then. This is just a preview. Once you do um, an actual render, it should match your current frame. So once it's that I hit I again to add another keyframe. Now, if I were to render this out, it's to replace my previous um animation. So what I can do is to come here 
select this then create another folder for this one just in case i need it for something else so i create a new folder i called it um transition um open accept and now i can go ahead to um render and render animation and once this is done i'll have um a transitioning effect now if i go to render play um, view animation it's gonna take a while and um so we can see the transitioning effects for this and that's how you go about rendering wireframes within blender it does take some getting used to but it was a fun learning experience um there were some other things i couldn't show in this video like um doing um a render with multiple colors but um this one has gone on long enough thanks for sticking with me to the end of this and um it's lot of i'll see you next time bye and god bless